All right, today is the anniversary of Silver Thursday, March 27th, 1980, the day the billionaire Hunt brothers met their comeuppance after trying to corner the commodities market. It was one of the zaniest episodes in financial history, seated all the way back in 1973, when the energy tycoons, Nelson Bunker Hunt and his brothers, Herbert and Lamar, seeking to hedge their oil fortunes from inflation and taxes, began buying silver at around $2 an ounce. And when I say buy silver, I mean buy actual silver. Remember, most commodities traders, they're just buying and selling paper, contracts for the rights to buy something physical. But the Hunts, they wanted that physical bars of silver. They chartered Boeing jetliners to fly the metal to warehouses in Switzerland at least three times. Within seven years, they had stockpiled more than 200 million ounces of silver. That's roughly two-thirds of the privately held supply in the world at the time. Prices soared tripling to $6 an ounce by the end of 1978, then surging to $30 by the end of 1979, peaking a couple weeks later at around $50 in early 1980. On paper, the Hunts had made billions off that trade alone. But in response to the concentrated positions, COMEX and the Chicago Board of Trade imposed an emergency margin requirement that would ultimately break that trade, a trade that by then had become kitchen table talk around America. So much so that jeweler Tiffany took out a finger wagging advertisement in the New York Times, calling it unconscionable for anyone to hoard several billion dollars worth of silver and depriving folks of having to pay more for baby spoons, tea sets, and photographic film. That ad, it ran on March 26, 1980. The next day, March 27th, came the margin call. COMEX asked the Hunts for $134 million in extra collateral. Now, there are a lot of conflicting reports as to exactly what happened next, but what we do know is ultimately the brothers, who had $4.5 billion in silver holdings, couldn't or at least didn't come up with the cash to pay that margin call, so their broker had no choice but to liquidate. That caused prices to crash 19% that Silver Thursday, which still stands as the single biggest daily percentage drop on record. Prices slid 13% more the following Friday, all the way down to $14 an ounce. Fed Chair Paul Volcker, concerned about systemic risk, gave the nod to a group of private banks to lend the Hunts a billion dollars to halt the crisis. And there you have it. Wrapped in a bow was the plot line for dozens of magazine articles, Harvard case studies, and lawsuits. A federal court in 1988 did find the Hunts did attempt to illegally corner the market. That was a ruling that would drive the Hunt brothers into bankruptcy. But they did rebound. While Bunker Hunt was banned from trading commodities, his father's company, Hunt Oil, it did survive, and his brother Herbert became a billionaire all over again after investing in North Dakota shale, and Lamar spent the rest of his years managing his various sports ventures, including the NFL's Kansas City Chiefs.